Hey, Landon, thanks for taking the time today. Of course. We'll get started here with Martin and then Jimmy. Hey, Landon. Um, first of all, I want to know like what it felt like to be out on the field today, and, and when did you kind of get a sense that you know this would be possible leading into the start of the season? So it felt great to be back out on the field. I know I've been on the sideline watching, but it's a tremendous feeling just to be able to be a part you know, of the team again, get back out there, be with my guys, be with my teammates. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, I've trusted the process with the staff here, the, you know, athletic training, the team doctors, all that stuff. And it's really just been, you know, whenever I felt comfortable and they felt comfortable with me getting back out on the field. Go ahead, Jimmy, and then Bo. Hey, Landon, um, how comfortable would you be playing center, uh, particularly with line calls if you needed to fill in there? Yeah, so like I've said before, you know, my, my purpose is to – do whatever job the coaches give me. So, you know, if coach wants me to go in at center, I'm going to try to be the best center that I can be. If he wants me at any other position, I'm going to try to be the best at that position that I can be. It's as simple as that. Go ahead, Bo, and then Mike. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, we haven't talked to you since the spring, Landon. So, so just sort of fill us in. What has uh, training camp been like for you? What have you – I've uh, been focusing on how have you been learning in the classroom and then who are the guys that you've gotten close with? So really training camp's been coming into work every day, trying to get 1% better every day, working, you know, learning the playbook, learning the scheme, getting to know my teammates, all that good stuff. You know, I've, you know, this is a team, it's a family. And, uh, you know, I've gotten close with a lot of guys, a lot of the older guys, a lot of the younger guys, rookies, everybody. So, you know, really that's what it's all about. It's about being a family. We'll go to Mike and then John. With a follow-up to that, Landon, um, what was like a day in, in the life of Landon Dickerson during a training camp practice day for you? What, what were you doing to kind of stay engaged? And, and what was it like being on the field? Like, what were you paying attention to when you were out there? So, yeah, so I wake up, come to the facility. We have meetings, we have practice, we have lifts. And, you know, I just treat it like any other day. I mean, just like I would last year, just how I will next year, Any you know. You come in, you stay focused, you learn, you look at the playbook. Maybe you don't get the physical reps, but you stay back and you get the mental reps. You just, you know, put yourself through it in your mind. Go ahead, John, and then Josh. So, Landon, you obviously know your body. Do you feel week one is a realistic goal for you as far as just being physically ready to play, or is it still sort of a ramp-up period and it's going to take some time? You know, my job right now is to just try to get my body better one day at a time, and I'm going to leave that up to the team doctors, athletic trainers, and the coaches to decide on that. My job is to just make sure I'm as healthy as possible every day. And how do you feel? I feel good. Go ahead, Josh, and then Dave. Hey, Landon, I'm going to keep it light for you, man. Uh, you know, we, we've seen a lot of videos circulating from, from different players of, of, you know, the rookie uh, karaoke. Um, where, where do you get that singing talent from? Uh Really, the shower, I guess. <laughs> and, then, and then, if I could just follow up, man, the um, you know, you know, when you first uh, got to Philly, Jalen Hurts said that you know he sees a, he saw a lot of dog in you, even though, um, you know that you guys didn't uh, play together. Could you could you just uh, describe to us a little bit more about your your relationship with him and the chemistry level, and I guess how he's kept you engaged throughout the past few weeks? I mean, honestly, Jalen, great dude, great guy, great teammate. I mean, you can't say enough good things about him. You know, we didn't play together at Alabama, but, you know, we all – we came from that culture. So, he knows what it's like. I know what it's like. So, in working every day and trying to be the best that we can be. And, you know, surrounding yourself with like-minded people like that, that's when great things happen. And that's what everybody in this building does. They come in. They want to work every day. They want to get 1% better every day. And that's all you can really ask for. And that's what I'm excited about. Go ahead, Dave, and then Jeff. Hey, Landon, we saw you early in practice today snapping the ball – are you going to be focusing on one position uh, throughout the next few weeks, or are you going to take reps at both? So, again, it's up to the coaching staff. He wants me to snap today, play a little bit of center. That's what I'm going to do. If he comes in tomorrow and tells me I'm a punter, heck, I'm going to try to be a great punter. He tells me to be a guard, tackle, safety. That's what I'm going to do. So it's really just about whatever the coaches ask me to do, whatever you know, void or need they want me to fill. That's what I'm here for. We have time for two more, and then we'll get Jason Kelsey. So go ahead, Jeff, and then EJ. Uh, Landon, you said the team uh, includes you in the, in the 
decision about when you return would return, you know, based upon how you felt. Um, obviously, if they kept you on the uh, injured list, you would miss the first six weeks uh, of the season. So, you know, how was your, you know, when they brought that up to you, what was your response to that um, versus, you know, obviously coming back early and maybe not being ready for week one? So, you know, I, I trust the team doctors here. I trust the athletic training staff and the coaches. You know, that was the decision they wanted to come to. Again, like I said earlier, it's my job to come in every day, you know, get healthy, work out, be, you know, in the best possible shape, football shape that I can possibly be. So for me, it was, you know, if they felt comfortable with it, you know, I've been trying to do my job, stay healthy, stay on top of things. And, you know, I felt comfortable with that decision too. Go ahead, EJ. Hey, Landon, you and Rodney had really similar timetables, you know, from when you got injured to, you know, when you returned, obviously. Have you guys talked at all about that, like shared experience? I mean, is that a relationship that you uh, you formed during your rehab process the last few, uh, the last few months? Yeah, absolutely. Me and him have been on similar timetables, uh, you know, obviously, you know, similar injuries. And, you know, so we, we've shared stories and, you know, asked each other questions, gave each other tips on, you know, Maybe things we're feeling, experiencing, you know, things that worked for us, things that didn't work, all sorts of good stuff. So that's been a great relationship I've been able to build with a guy like Rodney. All right. Thanks for the time, Landon. Thank you.